So let's look at how many molecules are found in 0.65 mole of potassium nitrate. Okay, similar to what we've already done. Okay, now here's, what, here's the thing. Remember what I said at the beginning? I said the stuff that we ha we, we've needed to know up until now, you need to know naming. Don't forget it. You're naming a bit because if you can't put together potassium nitrate, then that's it. You, you're losing marks. Okay, you're losing marks. So we know, we know what? We know we have 0 0.65 mole of potassium nitrate. What is the formula for potassium nitrate? KNO3. Good. See, it's not so bad. But now, we don't want mole, right? So for me to cancel it out, where am I going to put mole? Top, the bottom, right? Mole. So in one mole, how many atoms do we have? But now, are we looking at atoms or molecules? Molecules, molecules because we're looking at a full molecule of that. So in one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 power of 23. And it's not atoms like the other one. It's molecules. So still, one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. And one mole can be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 formula units, ionic compounds. Okay? So now, my moles cancel out, and all I'm doing is multiplying my moles by that. But my answer will give me in... So my answer will give me 3.91 times 10 to the power of 23 uh, molecules of KNO3. And what's the question asking for, though? Atoms. Atoms or molecules? Molecules. Molecules. Oh. So we stop there. Okay. But if we needed, if we were asked to find atoms, how many atoms are there in KNO3? Four or five. They're five, right? So five atoms in one molecule. Oh my goodness, I can't even spell that. <laughs> right, but now, what are the least number of significant digits in my question? Two, right? So I need the 3.9. All right, we look at the one after it. Does it change? No. No. So the answer is 3.9 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. This time I can do it. Molecules of KNO3. I don't know, it depends who you're asking. You're asking me or maybe someone in this class. Right? <laughs> See, because to me, I look at it and I go, oh my goodness, I'm giving away marks every time I put together a test. Because right? I don't really go out to try to trick you. But somehow they become tricky. <laughs> right? They become tricky. Okay. Do you always want us to switch it to Pardon? Well, it depends. Right now. Look at it. So right now. So right now we're asking how many atoms are found in 2.25 mole of silicon? Silicon, molecule, form, formula unit, or atom? Atom. atom. I have a question. Yes. How do you count atoms? Hmm? Which, with this one? Yeah. Well, we were asked for molecules, but if the question said for atoms, we would take this answer, right? And, right, we multiply it by something that will allow me to cancel out molecules. So where am I going to put molecules? The bottom. The bottom, right? right? Molecule. But in one molecule, we're going to have how many atoms? Three, right? Three oxygen, one nitrogen, one potassium. Three plus one plus one? Oh. Five. So there are five atoms in one molecule of potassium nitrate. Right? Because you're making your reference to potassium nitrate. So then we would take this answer and we'd multiply it by five. If we were trying to, if, if this question was how, not how many molecules, but how many atoms. Okay. Good question.
Okay, so let's go back to the uh, the one I just kind of gave. Okay. So, same thing, right? We start off 2.25 mole of silicon. All right. And same thing, we're just multiplying it by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. But we're looking for atoms, so it just stays as atoms. Okay, notice here, my moles cancel out. My answer is going to be in atoms. Is that what I want? Yes, because I have silicon. Silicon's an atom. Okay. And is my answer the right number of significant digits? Yes, three significant digits. How many atoms are found in 5.25 mole of strontium phosphate? Okay, take a minute. So, someone give me the formula for strontium phosphate. SR3. SR3. PO4. PO4, good. So we know, we know that we have in one molecule of this, right? We have how many atoms? Pardon? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so here's our so in one molecule now this this is going to change the next part in one molecule how many atoms are there how many 13 so we know 13 atoms okay. 13 atoms now we're starting off with 5.25 mole, right? So, 5.25 mole, okay, of strontium phosphate. I don't want mole here. I don't want mole. So for me to do that, where am I going to put mole? The bottom. In one mole, I have how many, how many uh, molecules? We're looking at a molecule here. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So we either have molecules, atoms, formula units. One of those three. And it's always going to be based on, this is always based on what you have in your question. Okay? Because they're, they're interchangeable. So now, when I do cancel mole out, Okay, when I multiply these two together, I get my answer, but the answer will be in molecules, right? So it came out to 3.16 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules, but I want atoms. So we have 3.16 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules. Molecules. For some reason today I cannot spell molecules. I want to cancel molecules out. Where am I going to put molecules? Right? So we look at that. But we're looking at one molecule. We want to turn it into atoms. So in one molecule we have 13 atoms. So we're going to multiply these two together. And there's no point to the dividing by one because anything divided by one stays the same. Okay. So, oops, molecules cancel out. My units will be in atoms. So my answer comes out to 4.11 times 10 to the power of 25 atoms of strontium phosphate. 